In the vast tapestry of classic Hollywood, Patricia Morrison stands as a distinguished actress whose contributions have left an indelible mark on the silver screen. As we navigate the rich landscape of her filmography, one might wonder, is there a particular moment from one of Patricia Morrison's works that has had a lasting impact on you? Or perhaps, which work of hers do you hold closest to your heart? Before we delve into these queries, let's set the stage with a captivating hook. Born on March 19, 1915, Morrison graced the silver screen during the golden age of Hollywood. Her career, spanning from the 1930s to the 1980s, witnessed her talents shine in a variety of genres, from musicals to film noir. An actress of versatility, Morrison not only captivated audiences with her on-screen presence, but also left an enduring legacy in the annals of cinematic history. Now, back to the questions, is there a moment, a film, or a role that resonates with you personally? What work of Patricia Morrison holds a special place in your cinematic heart? We invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences related to this classic Hollywood actor. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. And now, let's uncover some random facts about Patricia Morrison. Did you know that she played the iconic role of Anna Leonowens in the original Broadway production of The King and I? Morrison's remarkable stage presence also translated seamlessly onto film, where she delivered compelling performances that have stood the test of time. As we pay homage to Patricia Morrison's contributions to the world of cinema, share your thoughts, reflections, and anecdotes. Your engagement adds depth to the narrative of this Hollywood luminary. Patricia Morrison, an accomplished actress, captivated audiences not only with her theatrical prowess, but also with the rich tones of her full mezzo-soprano vocal range. Her musical talent, a hidden gem in her multifaceted career, led a unique and enchanting dimension to her performances, whether on the grand stages of Broadway or the silver screen. Morrison's ability to seamlessly weave her acting and musical skills together added depth and resonance to characters that lingered in the hearts of audiences. Beyond her artistic contributions, Patricia Morrison was a trailblazer in advocating for gay rights, standing as a staunch supporter of the cause. Her commitment to social issues went beyond the spotlight, and her advocacy work became an integral part of her legacy. In an era when such advocacy was not as prevalent, Morrison fearlessly used her platform to promote equality and acceptance, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and society at large. Following her passing, Patricia Morrison made a deliberate choice in departing with simplicity and grace. Opting for cremation, her ashes found their final resting place scattered at sea through the Neptune Society, a poignant reflection of her departure mirroring the fluidity of the ocean waves. The symbolism echoed her life's journey, a voyage filled with passion, talent, and a commitment to social justice. In retrospect, Patricia Morrison's legacy is a harmonious blend of artistic brilliance and a compassionate heart that beat in sync with the pulse of societal progress. Her multifaceted career and unwavering advocacy work continue to resonate, reminding us that the impact of a life well lived extends far beyond the footlights. Patricia Morrison's enduring influence serves as an inspiration, reminding us that art and activism can converge seamlessly to create a lasting imprint on the world. In 1948, Patricia Morrison made a pivotal career decision. On the verge of leaving Hollywood for New York to star in the lead role of Cole Porter's musical Kiss Me, Kate, it was a risky move considering Porter's recent lack of hit shows. Just before her departure, a marriage proposal came from Hollywood mogul Louis B. Mayer, promising wealth. Wisely, she declined, and history proved her right. This wasn't the only remarkable aspect of Morrison's career. She holds the distinction of being the last villain faced by Sherlock Holmes in the classic Universal series. Her portrayal added a memorable chapter to the iconic detective's encounters. Beyond the spotlight, Morrison's political stance marked her as a lifelong liberal Democrat. Her commitment to liberal values was as unwavering as her performances on stage and screen. Patricia Morrison's journey, shaped by bold career choices and a commitment to her principles, reveals a woman who navigated both the glitz of Hollywood and the complexities of societal beliefs. Her legacy isn't just about her artistic prowess, but also the courage to make choices that echoed beyond the footlights. In December 2012, at the remarkable age of 97, 
Patricia Morrison graced the stage in an evening titled Ladies of an Indeterminate Age at the Pantages Theater in Los Angeles. This event, featuring co-stars Charlotte Ray and Anne Jeffries, showcased Morrison's enduring passion for performance. Her presence on stage at such an advanced age not only attested to her vitality, but also underscored her commitment to her craft. Beyond the glitz of Hollywood's golden age, Morrison's career was marked by unique challenges. In the 1960 film Song Without End, director George Cukor found her voice too feminine for the character George Sand. Subsequently, he opted to have it redubbed by another actress, highlighting the complexities actors often face in the industry. As one of the last survivors of Hollywood's golden age, Morrison passed away shortly before icons Kirk Douglas and Olivia de Havilland. Her departure marked the end of an era, symbolizing the fading of a generation that had profoundly shaped the entertainment landscape. Patricia Morrison's enduring presence on stage, her voice's journey in the film industry, and her status as a Hollywood stalwart make her a fascinating figure in the annals of entertainment history. Her commitment to the craft, showcased even in her later years, is a testament to the timeless impact of her career. Selena Morrison, mother of the accomplished actress Patricia Morrison, served in British intelligence during World War I, a fact that sheds light on the intriguing background of the Hollywood stalwart. Patricia, known for her mezzo-soprano vocal range and theatrical prowess, had a multifaceted career that extended beyond the glitz of Hollywood. Before gracing Broadway stages and the silver screen, she studied dance under Martha Graham and worked as a dress shop designer at Russek's department store. Paramount, recognizing Morrison's talent, promoted her with the catchy line Lammer plus Lamar equals La Morrison. Despite the glamorous promotion, Patricia Morrison made pivotal career decisions, such as turning down a marriage proposal from Hollywood mogul Louis B. Mayer in 1948. This decision proved prescient as she went on to star in the lead role of Cole Porter's musical Kiss Me, Kate, marking a significant chapter in her career. Morrison's journey wasn't without challenges. In the 1960 film Song Without End, her voice was considered too feminine for the character George Sand, leading to it being redubbed by another actress, exposing the complexities actors often face in the industry. At 97, Patricia Morrison graced the stage in an event titled Ladies of an Indeterminate Age, showcasing her enduring passion for performance alongside co-stars Charlotte Ray and Anne Jeffries. Her presence on stage at such an advanced age attested not only to her vitality, but also underscored her unwavering commitment to her craft. As one of the last survivors of Hollywood's golden age, Patricia Morrison's departure marked the end of an era, symbolizing the fading of a generation that profoundly shaped the entertainment landscape. Her legacy, a harmonious blend of artistic brilliance and a compassionate heart committed to societal progress, continues to inspire. As we draw the curtains on this tribute to the incomparable actress Patricia Morrison, let the echoes of her remarkable performances linger in the corridors of your memory. Take a moment to stroll down the cinematic boulevard she paved with grace and talent, each scene a testament to her undeniable artistry. Now, I implore you to unlock the treasure chest of your own recollections. What scenes, what characters, what nuances of Patricia Morrison's craft have left an indelible mark on the canvas of your personal cinematic experience? Share your reflections, let your thoughts intertwine with the threads of her legacy, creating a tapestry of admiration and appreciation. In this shared space, let us build a mosaic of memories, a collective celebration of a woman whose presence on screen was as magnetic as it was timeless. Your voice becomes a brushstroke, adding depth to the portrait of Patricia Morrison's impact on the world of entertainment. As we bid adieu, let gratitude be our guiding star. Thank you for pausing in this moment of reflection, for allowing the resonance of Patricia Morrison's performances to stir emotions within you. Your engagement enriches the narrative, breathing life into the enduring legacy of an extraordinary actress. Here's to Patricia Morrison, her talent, her grace, and the everlasting imprint she left on the hearts of audiences around the globe. Your memories are the footnotes to a story well told, a story that continues to captivate and inspire.